timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. They come into this one coming his way. Ten points in a row from fast breaks. Not a great trend for the deep. Yeah, and the transition defense has been non-existent. And they're getting exposed as a result. They've got to maintain better floor balance. The Magic shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Small forwards in the NBA. Shoot two, shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. So he hits both of them. It's about and with the break here, let's look at the stats for losses. Averaging about 18 points per, 12 rebounds, and almost two and a half blocks. And what sets him apart is his rebounding. And as you can see, he's been in peak form. This last stretch, unbelievable force going to the glass. And it's been reflected on the stat sheet. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. The first free throw is good. from the strike. The foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Hard to believe you can have this kind of a flow. Unbelievable. Talk about putting up points in a hurry. He can't miss right now. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. What a big time mismatch it's been in the post. Where's the defensive adjustments? They're getting housed down there. Something's got to change. A double team, maybe a substitution, but this is getting out of hand. And Cooper making a change here, and he's got his first chance at the line here. And he is a cool customer at the line, guys. You've got to be when you're shooting 84. For the first half, Magic out in front, running away with this one. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And what a show being put on here for the home fans. I'm Bernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Out in front of the half is Orlando. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. And we'll go to Kenny first. What you see out there? Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast break baskets into foul. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track. Jack, how do you think Cleveland played? They were not running an efficient offense. The shot selection has to improve. It's as simple as that. Too many guys working as individuals, not as a team. They need to work as a unit or move the ball. All right, and that'll do it for us here. We now take you back to the second half of our game. Kevin Harlan ready with the call. Last year, right now, gentlemen, but not really shot. to the point where they should be overly concerned about it. First free throw is good.
And Lawson hits two free throws. On target for the past 10 games, leading their position in field goal percentage. East is matching up. You look at Orlando. They're way down there in the conference standings, looking for a lot of improvement during the second on his way. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Textbook. Really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. That's good from Lawson. It's good. He'll go to the line. starting to push the tempo to good effect. The fast break points, the edge goes to them, and those quick buckets are easy money. I love to see that. both free throws. The green light doesn't get much green. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Yeah, they were the superior team in every department, in every category to beat Kevin. I know their fans loved it and appreciated it. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. Now we'll send it up to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who's standing by for the post-game show. The 2K Sports post-game show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here, so is Shaquille O'Neal. Time now for some highlights as we take a look at our Jordan player of the game. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. I have to give a big nod to the impact he had through his defense. We know he can turn it up on D when he needs to, but tonight he turned it all the way up. Wow. In terms of three-point shooting, this could be framed as a historic performance. Hitting that many three-point shots in a single game is borderline impossible. The pressure was off the rest of the guys offensively. They just had to worry about getting him the ball and setting screens. Then it was bombs away. And that wraps things up, folks. Thanks for joining us. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the rest of the 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Good night, everybody.